this is fine. This is not fine. As much as I love 3D printing, sometimes printing plastic isn't the right material for the job. Remember that video I did about 3D printed candle holders? I did a little experiment and I showed how unsafe it is to use real candles in plastic candle holders. Because let's face it, all of our filament is some kind of plastic, which makes it pretty flammable. Even protopasta's metal filament is only 45% metal. It's a magical blend of PLA and metal particles that gives your print a real metal look. And heck, you can even rust it but it's 55% PLA, so it can get nice and melty in your printer and on your table if you're silly enough to put a whole bunch of candles in it. Sometimes you just need metal. I just wanted to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and watching this little video with me. And if you're having fun watching me set things on fire, um, hit the like button and that'll let me know and I'll keep making cool videos like this. Thanks. Which brings me to my sponsor, JLC PCB. JLC PCB is known for manufacturing custom printed circuit boards, but did you know they also have over 150 industrial level 3D printers? They offer all kinds of services from your normal plastic and resin printing to specialized printers that fuse powdered materials with lasers. This is a very sophisticated 3D printer that uses a high powered laser to precisely melt and fuse thin layers of metal powder. This method creates highly detailed models and complex parts out of 100% stainless steel, no plastic fillers. When JLC offered to work with me, I was really excited and I didn't know what I wanted to have 3D printed from stainless steel. Maybe a part for that RC car I'm building or some custom earrings. But then I thought of my favorite little dumpster fire and the notion of having one that was sturdy enough to burn was so much fun, I had to do it. It's real easy to order from JLC 3DP, the 3D printing division. Anyone can do it. You don't even need to know that much about 3D printing. Just upload your file, select the method of printing you want to use, and they'll handle the rest. You'll get an instant quote, and they'll even inspect your file before sending it to the printer so you know it's gonna work. I've got a coupon down below for $60 off your first order, so go ahead and give it a try. Sticking nine candles in the dumpster was pretty extreme and gets a bit hot, but I wanted to prove that this is real metal. I also wanted to be able to use this as a regular candle, so I scraped out the wax for my little bonfire and went shopping for new wax. I poked around my local craft store and discovered that candle making is way more expensive than I had planned, so I went next door to Five Below, and I looked for an appropriately dumpy candle. I was not disappointed. This thing smells like gingerbread dropped in a campfire. I warmed it up a little and scraped it out. Then I transplanted the wicks and wax into my new 3D printed metal dumpster. Look, this isn't a proper tutorial on candle making, but you get the idea. I melted the chunks of wax a little bit at a time until I had it all filled up. And now my masterpiece, a 3D printed dumpster fire candle. 